In today's video, TMNT stands for Totally Massive Nostalgia Trip. So let's open these boxes and get to it right now. What is up people, my name is Bobby and I am on a journey to recollect all the toys of my childhood and given that the biggest thing in my childhood was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles here in the UK it's a bit of a travesty that I haven't done a video about it yet so I've got a couple of boxes to open up and there's some cool Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff inside so let's not mess around any longer let's go down close and open it up so we've got two boxes to open but before that a little quick extra bonus pickup it's a Hot Wheels party wagon, and if you're ever in B&M here in the UK, make sure you keep an eye out in the Hot Wheels section for these. £1.69 for a totally awesome Turtles party wagon. I already had one of these, which I'd opened already. So uh, when I saw the second one in the package, I was like, let's, uh, let's pick up a second one of these so I can have one loose and one mint on card. £1.69, what a bargain. Turtles toys for one pound something. It's been many years since we've been able to get those, right? So onto the boxes, box number one. We have a knife in hand. And box number one was an eBay purchase. I think I paid about 15 pound for it or something. And box number one is what really triggered box number two to be purchased too. Let's see if we can get in it. Pretty hard to see what I'm doing with a knife behind the camera without stabbing myself. I'm opening it upside down too, which probably doesn't help, right? Left-handed knife cutting. Oh! Open the flaps, and inside we have newspaper. What vintage toy unboxing would be complete without some newspaper? So hopefully what I bought is okay, and um, I didn't get scammed. So inside the parcel parcel, let's see what's inside, right? Can you see the colors of the turtles? Bagged up, inside bubble wrap, inside newspaper, and a little eBay, Instagram, JWZ toys. Maybe go check them out, right? Thank you for your purchase. If you're happy with your item, please leave us a feedback. I sure will, if I'm happy with the item, but let's look at the item first. So it's been many years since I've had these in my hands and I'm super excited. The first part, and the part that I broke as a kid, this little bit here, right, is the trash can sidecar. For the hopefully complete total cycle, which I believe is complete, right? These handlebars always went missing. This one's a little bit warped. It doesn't quite line up right, but they're soft enough, right? The sticker's taken a little bit of a battering, as you would expect. The headlight stickers were still intact. So I got this for like 15 pounds or something on eBay plus postage for this whole lot. Um, so I was really happy with it. That's why I couldn't say no, right? Paint doesn't look too bad at all, really. There's a few marks and stuff, obviously, of a toy this age, which has been played with. But uh, the wheels are still fixed on properly. The stickers are all still there, despite the back one being a little bit peely and a little bit messed up. And this is something that I've spent absolutely hours and hours and hours probably days playing with as a kid i loved the like turtle shell petrol tank and uh, all of these old playmates tmnt toys were awesome right it's again as always happens with these toys when i get them in my hands it's way smaller than i remember it being right and then of course you had this my one of these as a kid uh these little blades on here took out many of foot soldiers in their time, right? There's a little bit of rust on that little pin in there, but I can live with that. Everything is complete. None of the pegs are broken off on the inside for the turtles to stand on. And like I say, this little hole here is what I broke as a kid, which if we're lucky, we'll snap straight onto here without breaking and we will have a complete, there we go, it went on fine. It's a little bit, a little bit loose, right? But I'm okay with that and we have an absolutely complete TMNT turtle cycle, which, like I say, nostalgia all over again. Look at this, absolutely beautiful. What a cool toy this was. I absolutely loved it. It's one I owned as a child, and now I've got it back in my collection. Although I feel like I need to stop buying vehicles for things like battle cats and turtle cycles and everything else that I keep picking up, like pod racers and wrestling rings <laughs> they're so big i've got nowhere to put them but uh one awesome thing look at look at like little little touches like this like right a little patch on the tire just look you know like little things do they pay that much attention to toys anymore i don't think they do that is super cool the second item in this lot was the cheapskate uh little mirrored sticker is still on the front there uh, this one's probably taking a little bit more of a beating 
uh, and obviously nowhere near as valuable. These are easy to pick up pretty cheap, even in the box, they're not that expensive, right? These were really cheap when they came out uh, and they don't, they remain fairly inexpensive now to buy as vintage toys, but yeah, a little bit wear on the front. He's crashed into Shredder a few times or something with this one, right? But yeah, the, uh, the kicking foot action on the front still works perfectly. Um, and yeah, this one I didn't actually have when I was a kid. A bunch of my friends had it and I played with it a lot, but it's not something I have myself. I don't know why, it is it was so affordable. Um, I guess it's just something I never actually picked up. Uh, there's a few sort of stress marks on the plastic on the little controller, remote control handle thing, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know the name of it. And all three blades of the, the fan turbine on the back are complete. And like I say, the action on the bottom works absolutely perfectly over and over again, solid as anything, super, super cool. Uh, the second Turtles figure in my collection. Uh, look at them both there, right? Don't they look cool as hell? So box number two comes into play and uh, what are Turtles vehicles without Turtles figures to sit on them, right? Um, at, until this point, the only Turtles figure that I had in my collection again was this guy, the Samurai, Sewer Samurai Leonardo which was in my top five most wanted toys from my childhood video. So I picked one of him up pretty quickly. Uh, he's not perfect condition, his shell's a bit worn, you know, he doesn't have the accessories, but I just had to have one and I found it cheap, so I had to pick it up. So once I knew I was getting these vehicles, I had to buy some turtles to sit on it, right? So I went over to an awesome website here in the UK. So awesome, I almost want to keep it a secret and not tell you about it, right? But it was Monkeys Emporium. They sell a bunch of vintage toys over there. Really affordable prices. Almost like a vintage toy shop online, do you know what I mean? Um, as far as prices go. Very, very reasonable prices. And free shipping if you spend over a tenner. So, I went over there and I'm thinking I've got two turtles vehicles, I need two turtles figures at least to go on them, right? The turtle cycle could probably benefit from free, so we could have one in the sidecar too. But that will have to come another day, so hit the subscribe button if you want to see future videos with more turtle stuff, right? But inside here, if we've got any luck, look at that. Free candy from Monkey's Emporium and flavors. I've never seen of these things before, right? Look at that, tangy raspberry candy floss flavor. The sticks candy floss flavor. I would absolutely eat the hell out of that. But my girlfriend, Laura, has a fascination with these kinds of like weird candies where they involve some sort of process like licking and dipping to eat right i don't know what it is she's got a thing about food and textures and she's gonna love that when she comes home from work later toys and candy my childhood all over right so wrapped up in here hopefully we have two yes we do we have two individual little bundles the first one no sellotape two monkeys emporium you're doing it right they're using the sticky bubble wrap bags Perfect, so much easier to open. Here he is, and you can tell they've cleaned it up too, I think, before they've sent it, right? It just feels cleaner than some toys I've received. Maybe his face could do a little bit of extra clean, actually. Maybe I lied. Anyway, we've got Michelangelo, no accessories, no nothing with him, but I thought, you know, Mikey is gonna be perfect for the cheap skate. Yeah, definitely a bit dusty and a bit hairy in there. Definitely needs a bit of a clean, but that's okay. That's okay for what I paid for him. I think it was like 2 99 or something, like three pound. Um, to get that online for that price uh, and he's in pretty good condition right it's not too bad a little bit of wear on the back of the old bandana there and an awesome cool turtles figure who hopefully will fit very well on the cheapskate maybe we need to put him this way no we definitely need to put him this way can we get his little peg hole in this is where i break the peg hole on the toy yeah that foot there, look at that. Awesome, Mikey, go. Fight the Foot Clan. So yeah, that was just like a little cheap extra just to chuck on there for now. Um, this one I spent a bit more on, I think maybe 15 or 16 pounds. And you'll see why when we get into it. You can see why now probably, right? Get him out. I don't know what this is, but it came out of there. Um, should I be touching this? Anyway, we've got Donatello with a weapon awkwardly stashed inside his belt here, which I really don't want to break that belt. There we go. So we've got this weird hooky weapon that I never knew what it was called and I still don't. Leave me a comment if you know what the name of that is. Is it like a training sword or something? We've got his staff, obviously a little bit warped as they all are. And the memories just by even seeing the little 
sprue marks on there from where you open these as a kid. Amazing stuff. And then he's got the little weird hand knife thing. I never knew what those were called either. Do you know what they are? He doesn't need them, right? He's Donatello. Uh, so I picked this up because it was not complete, but almost complete. He's got his belt. He's got his star, right? That's what matters. And, and, and he came with one of these super cool turtles collectible coins, which I don't know the story behind these. I can't remember where these came from. Did they come inside the toys at some point, I believe? I'm not sure, but I remember having these. I remember having loads of these. And I remember having like this weird cardboard portfolio thing that you could put the coins in, right? And collect them all. I don't think I ever did collect them all. But this one is Shredder, super cool. Super cool artwork, really hard to show on camera, but um, I guess that's another thing I've just started collecting now. But it came with the Donatello. So I think it was $15.99 for the lot. Um, Donatello with his belt. The turtle figures always look way cooler when they've got their belts on, right? Um, Mikey missing his belt here just looks a little bit lost, you know? And then the only thing that was damaged on this, which I couldn't tell whether it was or not, but it looked like it was from the pictures, is that the little hook thingy on his belt here that holds his staff is, is broken off. But yeah, if you had one of these as a kid, Yours was probably broken off too, so I can totally understand why that's the case. So I was hoping I could put this on his back and have him ride the bike with that on his back. We might have to improvise somehow, but let's see if we can get him on his bike. I remember I can never get these to sit very good on here, right? But let's try anyway. We always had to bring the handles forward, right? They never quite worked right, you know? The bike was almost like it wasn't made for the turtles. So I used to always clip these to their hands first, and my turtle spent a lot of time flying through. This was my favorite thing to do as a kid, right? I would be driving the bike, I'd make it jump into the air and make him like Superman on the bike while he was jumping through the air like this and be like, you know, look at it like. <laughs> oh my God, I used to do that so much when I was a kid, but there he is, he's on the bike there. This is why the handles are warped, right? Because they don't really fit turtles very well at all but that's okay we don't mind maybe if we lift his hands up a bit more is that a bit more of a riding action pose but look at that oh my god how amazing um <laughs> i'm so happy that is stupidly cool and exactly what i wanted from this obviously you can fit a companion in the sidecar uh i don't really have one for him yet but we might i don't think leo can we fit leo in not really not very well right I don't really know how you were supposed to fit another figure in here, to be honest. Maybe you'd have to stand this way. Doesn't really fit, right? Not facing the right direction anyway. Maybe maybe he had to face backwards so that he could fight off any oncoming enemies. There they are, guys. Turtles and vehicles looking amazing. Super happy. Plenty more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures going to be added to my collection soon. So look out for those videos. Hit the subscribe button. If you want to watch another one of our videos right now, um, click up here because you can do that. Just go and watch another video, right? Thank you for watching, people. I hope you enjoyed this little nostalgia trip, and I'll see you really, really soon on the Toys Not Trash YouTube channel.